Welcome to Bar Minko. My name is Gary and I'm the shift boss. Before we get going, can you look behind you on the back seat and make sure we have two water bottles? We're going to go underground now to a work heading to do a hazard assessment, which is our sweep process. So at the entrance to the portal, we've got a black pipe and a large bottle. The bottle contains stench gas, which is pumped down underground to alert people to an emergency. The blue signs are mandatory. You must have all of your PPE, earplugs, glasses, gloves, boots, hard hat and high-vis gear. LV entering portal. So as you can see, this is all shock created. We have shock creep, mesh and bolts. These parts of the drive are called the sidewalls, shoulders and backs. Running down the left hand shoulder we have the services which are your pump line, water line and your air line. All water underground is recycled, salty, not drinkable. The speed limit underground is 30 kilometres an hour but some areas you can't do it so drive to conditions. There's no need to travel at 30, 20 is fast enough in most cases. Once we've reversed in, we'll park correctly. The vehicle must be angled into the wall, tyres angled into the wall, so we don't have a runaway. Right, this is what we call a development heading, which is ready for ground support to be installed. Under no circumstances do you go beyond that barricade and sign. SWIC stands for Start Working Control, which is part of the Barminko risk management process. Have a look down at your SWIC book now. In your SWIC, you've got some guidance tools, checklists and a hazard report. To help you conduct a SWIC, you need to get familiar with the underground workplace checklist. Complete any of the mobile free starts. Ensure there is adequate ventilation. Be aware of dust, fumes, gases and misfire hazards. Check the ground conditions and support. Signs and barricades must be in place. Electrical equipment and cables should be hung clear. Guarding must be in place on machinery. Check for any manual handling hazards. The area should be neat and tidy to avoid slips and falls. Make sure the roadway is clear of debris. What we'll do now is check one with you. We need to ensure we have adequate ventilation. Have a look at the ventilation ducting with me and check if there are any holes in the vent bag. Have a look at the ventilation ducting with me and check if there are any holes in the vent bag. Okay, that hole needs to go on the hazard report. I'll call the service crew now. Copy service crew, I need you to come down here and repair a vent bag. Right, I need you to use your workplace checklist to find three more hazards. Well done, let's review the hazards you found. A hole in the vent bag. I've already called the service crew to get that fixed. Large rocks on the ground. I'll contact a loader operator to clear the drive. Fallen sign and chain. While we're here, we'll rehang the sign. Damaged electrical services. I'll radio the electricians to fix the cable. We can't continue to work in this area until it's fixed. <laughs> 